Familial hypercholesterolemia, more commonly known as FH, is an inherited condition which causes concentrations of harmful LDL cholesterol in the blood, which can then lead to the early development of cardiovascular disease. I was diagnosed with FH back in 2018, and I'd like to tell you just a little bit about my experience of being diagnosed and also my experience of living with this rare genetic condition. Uh, most people won't have this condition, but for the few that do, which is approximately one in 250, the benefits of screening mean that they are able to make the changes to their lifestyle that they need to, and they're also able to access treatment as early as possible, which helps to prevent any further complications. My cholesterol levels weren't something I ever thought about. I was in my mid twenties. I led a pretty active lifestyle and had a fairly healthy, largely vegetarian diet. And then one day my grandma made an offhand comment to my mum in relation to my granddad's cholesterol levels. He had died in his mid seventies uh, from a heart attack. And this was when I was one. So it was a hugely long time ago. And this offhand comment sparked my mum to think about things a little bit more and to go and get tested. And she was, she was 48 at this point and she was discovered to have FH and was walking around with ridiculously high LDL cholesterol levels. And so she was, she was put on medication. This prompted her to tell me to go and get tested, which I did. And at this point, I didn't know anything about good and bad cholesterol or FH or anything like that. Um, but I went to the doctors and asked if I could get tested. And I wouldn't be the typical person that should be worried about this. I didn't fit their, their profile of someone that is living with high cholesterol. But after explaining a little bit more about why I was asking this and my family history, um, I was tested and was found to have FH. It was, it was a bit of a surprise. Um, it, it probably wasn't what I was expecting to happen. But the whole process was super simple and pain-free and it turned out to be a really important thing to have done. In terms of treatment and advice, I was initially asked to uh, make some lifestyle changes in terms of diet and physical activity uh, to combat these cholesterol levels. I'm very glad to say that I followed the rules. Um, and uh, for me, it wasn't about losing weight. I, I didn't need to lose any weight, but it was just about being more aware of what I was eating and the impact that that was having on, on my cholesterol. But it became clear that I was gonna need medication to manage my cholesterol levels. And since then, I've been prescribed with, with daily medication and it's safe to say that I've never looked back. Um, I haven't experienced any side effects. The only way that it's changed my day to day life is that I have to try and remember to take a pill every day. And I've got into the habit of that now. And it brought my cholesterol levels right down to where they should be. It did that within uh, the space of a few months. And it's pretty much as simple as that. In terms of cascade testing uh, to other family members, I have two brothers, two older brothers, and to this day, I think one of them has been tested and doesn't have FH, and the other one has never gone to get tested. So I will probably be sending him this video.